hey y'all welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing me i'm naz and please don't make your last time by subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification so you know once i post a new video so yeah today's video is a very very interesting one and we're going to be talking about how to be more feminine so yeah i understand that a lot of people want me to talk about this topic i don't even really know why but femininity is something i really love and it's something i train myself to be yes i know you understand what i'm saying i didn't grow up being like this i didn't grow up being so feminine i walked myself through the process yeah so and coming from an african home where i know that it's really hard for our parents to inculcate to be feminine into us i had to walk myself like i really had to walk my ass off to be feminine like to be a feminine lady and today i'm going to be telling you this step-by-step -step process on how i became more feminine so that you can also put those process or those procedures into your life and be more feminine or just be feminine so yeah without further ado i would like to start this video by introducing or explaining what femininity is or being feminine is. So being feminine has to do with having these attributes that are traditionally known for the women so yeah and what are these attributes what are those things that you have in your life and you're considered to be a feminine woman so the first thing i'm going to be talking about is taking care of yourself the part of taking care of yourself as a woman can never be overemphasized because this is the basic thing every woman should do this is one of the traditional things women are known for so as a feminine lady or in your process of being feminine the first thing you should inculcate into your life is taking care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself you can't take care of the people around you and women are known for hospitality so yeah taking care of yourself in the sense that you have to create a routine for yourself you have to take care of your mental health you have to take care of your physical appearance you have to take care of just take care of yourself and how would you do this create a routine have a day-to-day -day activity don't just live your life like okay anything comes and anything goes no as a woman you should be able to say okay these are the things i will do and these are the things i will not do and in sense of taking care of yourself like your mental health don't be a people pleaser do what you really want to do do what makes you happy don't lose yourself because you want to be called a nice person don't do that don't do that so yeah the second step i'm going to be talking about as being feminine or your journey to being a feminine or being more feminine is your appearance your appearance matters a lot so yeah you might be like it doesn't matter but it really does your appearance goes a long way the normal phrases we've known has always been dress the way you want to be addressed if you want to look feminine if you want to tell people that you're a feminine lady you have to appear feminine you have to appear like a feminine lady and appearing like a feminine lady doesn't mean you have to show your skin so much or you have to do too much to let people know you're feminine no the little thing there are little things that makes your appearance show that you're really a lady like the way you groomed your skin your hair is in place your face is okay you must not really be you must not really be wearing makeup but your face is clean and like obviously looking at it they will know that you came from somewhere and not like you're looking like you just rushed out of the house you just rushed out of the house or maybe you're wearing your pajamas while you are in a shopping mall or like putting effort in your appearance i know you see some of those ladies who look very soft and clean those ladies put so much time in their appearance but because they do it the way they want and they do it in a very clean way it's always appearing like they did not take time or like they didn't even stress themselves but to be very honest if you want to look put together and look feminine you have to put in energy and like putting time to your physical appearance it's it goes a long way so yeah then moving away from physical appearance the next thing i'm talking about is yourself you have to be soft you have to be a soft and gentle lady now ladies are known to be soft they are known to be gentle they are not ladies are not meant to be masculine in nature being soft might be in the way you speak you don't have to rush your words you don't have to be the loudest person in the room it might be in the way you come into a room you must not be noticed 
be the lady you are like be soft just be gentle you are you are not driving this life with anybody it's just you just you and it's just me me and myself competing so yeah um just be soft be gentle in the things you do and like just take it one step at a time no need for the rush no need for the hustle and the bustle and yeah i understand a lot of lady want to be like you know the independent lady and all those things and sometimes they exhibit the whole masculine energy look into yourself and bring out the femininity in you like bring out that soft life you're not meant to be suffering chill and enjoy your life so yeah as much as you want to be soft another thing you should add to your life is smiling learn to smile learn to um, laugh learn to, don't be too mean don't always frown your face you're not quarreling with anybody like be be at peace with yourself because when you're not at peace with yourself you always find it very difficult to smile and laugh and just be genuinely happy so find a way to keep yourself around people who make you laugh make you smile who make you happy and be happy with yourself as well so yeah the next thing i'm going to be talking about is being receptive as a lady another attribute that is traditional with women which makes you a feminine lady is being receptive i understand the point that a lot of us are very independent like we live our life we've been trained or we've trained ourselves to be very independent don't overdo it be receptive don't be don't always be at the edge of like no 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 i don't want so open yourself to more things more opportunities more people more gifts positive energy positive friends you know so yeah that's that and another thing i want to be talking about as a feminine lady is be confident be confident in yourself this is one thing i love so much about ladies ladies are smart you are working towards becoming a feminine lady doesn't mean you should be timid or be shy or like forget your self-esteem or forget yourself learn to be confident in yourself learn to express yourself the way you want like just be you love yourself and carry yourself like nobody is like you because in real life nobody is really like you god took time to like god took so much energy to make you perfect to make you who you are to make you exactly the way you're looking so you can't tell me that you're not special you are too special to look down on yourself you're too special to be treated anyhow so develop have high self-esteem for yourself and be confident in what you do so yeah and in the process of being confident there is this thing people confuse with being confident a lot of feminine lady confused with being confident now some people are very arrogant because they want to be confident these two things are not the same confidence can never be seen as arrogancy so learn the both things like learn confidence and learn arrogancy and know when you are overdoing it or know when you're no longer at this space of being confident that you're not moving to this space of being an arrogant person or an arrogant lady so yeah um learn to balance it balance it out because if it's not balanced if it's if if you don't really understand what confidence is you might be thinking you're a confident lady while you're actually arrogant so don't misinterpret it so yeah um i don't want this video to be so long and be everywhere i just wanted to hit out the topics or the points that i'm talking about so yeah on our today's episode of being more feminine i talked about six things roughly which number one take care of yourself do you be you and be happy then the next one is putting energy into your appearance because you really matter don't go out looking unkept don't go out looking like you didn't come out from someone's house look put together at all time it really matters then the third one is be gentle and soft be a soft girl be soft with life mm, the struggle is not really you don't really need to tell the whole world that you're struggling or you don't really need to put your face like the person so struggling be soft with just just be soft and gentle with yourself then don't forget to smile like always smile you know just 
a touch of smile don't smile too much yeah but just always smile you know and be receptive and be confident so these are my points in being more feminine that if these are the kind of videos you want to be seeing i bet you would want to subscribe to this channel and turn on notification so yeah if you got to this point you know you know the vibe i really love you and thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing catch ya bye